the spirit inside of you got a lot of people feeling insecure about themselves. Y'all were born to stand out. Ladies and gents, do you know why people feel insecure about themselves? Because every time they see you, you're always happy. You're not miserable. You're not pathetic. And not only that, you stand out. And when you stand out, you're going to have people that are insecure about themselves. It's going to hate your guts. But you couldn't care less. Because you know why? You was not put here on this earth to people please or be a butt kisser. These people hate your guts so bad, you ain't a head 24 hours a day. They want to be like you, but at the same time, your spirit scares the living piss out of them. You intimidate them, and you make them feel some type of way. They insecure about their own selves. People are insecure about themselves. They can't even look in the mirror. Then they want to compete with you. But the only one you're competing with is the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror. See, what y'all got to understand is when you got confidence, it triggers people. When your spirit is on some other stuff and not that demonic stuff, oh yeah, it's going to make people very frightened. Which means they're going to be frightened by you. You ain't got to open up your mouth and say nothing to nobody. Your spirit is doing the talking for you. That's why every time people see you, they scatter away like roaches. Because they see something inside of you that pisses them off or you finna scare them. They act like you a serial killer on a hall flick or something. But you just little old you minding your own business. I guess these days when you mind your own business, it's frightening people. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. I'm telling you all right now. People is not going to make it. When I say they ain't going to make it, because you, my friend, you're going to expose that demons. Your spirit is exposing these people's demons. They don't know how to act when they come near you. I tell my people get so frightened, man. They, they just completely lose it. You just there minding your business. But people that hang in the crowd, they're not going nowhere. This is why God put you out, which means he put you in a place by yourself. Because you were born to stand out, ladies and gentlemen. You wasn't born to hang out in crowds. That's what mediocre people today do these days. They listen to society so much. They in that program. Remember. That butt kissing program. And they want you to be a part of it. But capital N-O-T explanation mark. Not. Because you know why? They not like you. And you don't want to be like them. But they want to be like you so bad. It hurts them when you stand out. It hurts their little old feelings. Every time you stand out and every time God blesses you in front of them, it pisses them off. Even when you're not in their presence, they get so frustrated because they can't get you out of their head. But see, when they talk about you, don't you know God blessing them right in front of their very faces? H-O-L-L-A. do do I had to hit the drum roll one time. Because you know why? Every time y'all step a foot inside the place, 
you set the place off. Yeah, that's right. You set it off more than Queen Latifah and J.D. Pink, ladies and gentlemen. It's your spirit that does the talking. Your spirit got people feeling mad. But they they're not mad at you, though. These people. <laughs> Y'all just woke up so part of me. But yeah. They are mad at themselves. They not mad at you. They mad at themselves. Because they want to be like you. They can never ever get on your level. And they were on your level. If they were on your level. They would not be acting like this. And y'all gonna agree with me on this. But people, not all people, but some, that's insecure about themselves. You will catch them butt kissing, mad at you for no apparent reason. And not only that, they will not speak to you like you care. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all had lost friends. Some of you have lost family members because you were born to stand out. But that's the way God made you. But once again, y'all, once you get out of that butt kissing program or you don't want to or you don't want to be a part of it, yeah, it made people mad. You made people that feel some type of way. You made people wish. That they was in your shoes. You make people wish. That they could be a leader. And not a follower. But. It's not in their blood. They, they're afraid. They listen to people's feedback. Instead of listening to God's feedback. And this is why they don't become successful. This is why they don't. Get where they at. I mean excuse me. This is why they don't. How can I say this? This is why people will never go where they want to go. Because they're too busy listening to other folks. Oh dear, if I do this, they're going to talk about me. If if I do that, they're going to want to talk to me no more. So I, 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 I can't do it. And this is why they are never, ever, ever become successful. And this is why. Excuse me, y'all. And this is why they will never, ever be like you. Because, see, when you in that light or when you were born with it, people want to damn it. People want to take that away from y'all. But can nobody take nothing from you? Nobody. Especially when you were born with it, they can't take that away from y'all. You don't care about losing friends, even fake family members, fake friends that is. Because we're friends, we're family members. We'll support you. And they will tell you, do your thing. Don't explain yourself to nobody out here. If you got a dream, go out there and chase it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you all this. Don't go seeking validation. And that's why they mad at you because... You ain't got to go out here and mwah, 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 do all that stuff. You can walk alone and be all right with it. Because God is with you at all times. But see, people are so needy these days. Not all, but some. They so needy. It's a cry of shame. People these days. People these days came and go to the bathroom alone. Come on, girl, walk with me to the bathroom. Yo, bro, come on, walk me to the bathroom, dude. Like, really? Like, really? And don't be surprised if they hold their hands together. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to deal with the mayor, man, ladies and gentlemen. Tell him, hey, little Chico, calm down. Don't growl. I'm just here to de deliver the message. Calm down. 
But see, when y'all speak the truth, that spirit inside of them start growling like a pit bull. A demonic pit bull, ladies and gentlemen. But when they see folks like them, that spirit like... <laughs> but when the spirit see you, it, it get the growling. But when that spirit come near you, like when it sees your presence or smell your presence, the dog get nervous and start barking out of control, which means they are afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to what I'm saying now. Y'all make people feel insecure so doggone bad. They can't even look at you. I mean, they can look at you, but at the same time, it make them nervous. You piss them off every time. And when you smiling, woo wee, it burn it burns them up. You burn a hole in their miserable hearts. Even even laugh. That's laugh one time. I ain't talking about fake laugh. That's laugh. Show your teeth. Show your tongue. Laugh. No LOL, but that's laugh. It will burn them up. Remember, y'all, ain't nobody mad but the devil. The devil mad because you stand out. The devil mad because you're not in his program, ladies and gentlemen. What y'all look like? Butt kissing. Being on other people's jocks. All of the other people's business. That's what unhappy folks do, ladies and gentlemen. Remember what I said the other day. Happy people ain't hating. And hating people ain't happy. And hating people, they ain't happy. They're too busy worrying about you. They're not only that. They will wish bad on you. But at the same time, God going to bless you right in front of your enemies. What did it say? He will prepare a table in the midst of your enemies. So every time God blesses you, guess what? You get a blessing. Hey, you're going to get blessed anyway because look what you're doing. You're doing good. All of you. Every single last one of you. Y'all doing good. This is why they at you. This is why they can't stop talking about you because God is control. God is 100% blessing you. You got this. Remember, every boss got a boss. But these folks, they's not, they're not your boss. God is your boss. When you leave your 9 to 5 job, ladies and gentlemen, listen to what I'm saying. When you leave your 9 to 5 job, Watch, everything is going to go skyrock. Which means you finna take off. Like take off in the Migos, R.I.P. Take off! Y'all finna take off. Because you know why? You've been waiting for so long. But at the same time, y'all been putting in the work, man. Charlotte, you've been putting in the work. And when you put in the work... That make people furious. Because people want you to be out here lost. They want you to be miserable. They want you walking the streets. Basically, the, the same thing they doing. Getting on social media, reading other people's dramas. Facebook, whatever you want to name it. Worrying about other celebrities. The celebrities don't even know them. They all been other celebrities' business. Y'all see what's going on with Puff Daddy and them? Like, okay. But what's going on with your life, though? Why you worrying about Puff Daddy and all of them? Worry about yourself. All about other folks' business. They all in your 411. Y'all seen such and such. No, no, I ain't see you. No, I ain't see you. Well, I wonder what they doing. Somebody need to call them and text them. Because I don't need to know. 
They need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, they need to know. Yeah, somebody got a mental illness. Somebody need to take some medicine or somebody need to create some medicine that says, mind your business. Um, I, I'm thinking of a some I'm thinking of a name here because this is completely unacceptable. They need to come up with some medicine to call mind your business. Take one each day. Don't miss. We live in a day society, ladies and gentlemen. People are so lost out here. They gotta know what everybody else is doing out here. Can you believe this? It make you want to shake your head. Pitiful, ain't it? Pathetic. That's a dog on shame. They that insecure. They that dog go mad about their own life. They work. They wake up every day hating their own life. Hey. All I gotta say is that's their life, but you you don't hate your life. You don't care how many people hating on you. You still love you. They hate you, but guess what? You love who you are. Look at you to get out the bed, thanking God. You go out there to the universe. God's on your side, and guess what? You smiling, cut you walking and smiling, even dancing with it, and they hating. Who he think he is? Who she thinks she is? Hmm. They poking their lip out, nose turning up at the same time. Every time they poke their lip out or turn their nose, guess what? Your aura, which means your energy, is pimp slapping them spiritually. Somebody get the baby powder. Your spirit is spiritually. Pimp slapping these folks. And they know it. That's why they get mad. That's why they roll their eyes. Because that. Pimp slap. Spiritually. It got them feeling some type of way. Like I said y'all. Y'all spirit is spiritually checking these folks. People out here growling at you. Like a little chihuahua. But you know what you do? That's what you do. Every time they look at you, that's what you do. You turn the other cheek. Both of them. Because you ain't got time to be sitting up here playing eye contests or stirring contests with folks. Because that's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to stir back at them. Don't stir back at them. You might turn into a stone. They want you to play these modern, whatever type of games they want to play with you. Insecure people want to play mind games. But at the same time, every time they stare at you, their heart, they can't take it. Because you know why? You're too resilient. Y'all too tough for these folks. When you stand out, that's what's going to happen. Y'all ain't got to kiss no tail. You ain't got to Jump with nobody, jock. You ain't got to gossip about nobody. You mind your own business. Oh, and another thing. You ain't got to go out here and sleep with any, anything that walks. Yeah. Remember, lonely people are so needy. They will sleep with anything. The person can look like a zombie in the face. But yo, bro, she fine. Uh, she got a fat, you know what. Girl, look at him, he fine. And they can look like a zombie in the face. They sleep with anything that walks because they so lonely. They so needy. <laughs> but y'all, y'all don't gotta do none of that. Cause you know what you want in life. They don't. This is why they are battling their own demons. And they try to push that demons out onto you. So when you expose the devil, the devil get mad. When you spiritually check these folks or 
Whatever you got to do, it hurt you hurt their feelings. Every time you speak the truth, they you hurt their feelings. They feel some type of way, but do you care? Nope. All due respect. Nah. Ladies and gentlemen. Not all due respect. I'ma just say it. Screw them and they feelings. Yeah. They want to paint y'all as the bad guy, the bad woman. Guess what? Screw them and they feelings. You literally got grown folks out here, ladies and gentlemen. They mad. They shooken up. They shook ones. What my D said back in the 90s, ain't no such thing to have way crooks scared to death, they scared to look. They shook. Because there's no such thing as halfway crooks. Y'all got these people shooken. I'm talking about they shaking. They, <sighs> You literally think these people having a seizure every time they see you. It's that spirit, remember? They insecure. They can't handle you. You're too tough. Every time you stand out, or when they see you all by yourself, tell them, don't get it twisted. I'm my own team. God is right there by your side. You don't need nobody. Only the right people. If you stay with me. And if you are, that's good. Because guess what? The only people you need around you is the right people. You understand? Y'all don't need these folks. You don't need them. But guess what? They need you though. That's why they feel in some type of way. That's why they all in their feelings. Hey, little feelings. <laughs> Ooh. Pathetic, y'all. Extremely pathetic. Capital P. Pathetic. They could pee with you. You could pee with yourself. So tell me, who's the biggest loser? It sure ain't y'all. It's them. So, with that being said, y'all, keep on Keeping on. Keep on being 100. Keep on being yourself. Keep on standing out. And most importantly, keep on being the truth. The truth will hurt. It will hurt them. But guess what? You finna set them free. When you speak the truth, you finna set a lot of people free. They ain't gonna like it, but oh well. Tell, tell them this. If they don't like it, they can get the heck out the kitchen. If they can't take the heat, tell them to get out the kitchen. That's why they sweating. That's why they over there. Why he keep, why he keep on going? He need to stop. She need to stop. You're going to keep on going and going. Your success is going to hurt them. Y'all going to hurt a lot of people's feelings. Even next year, who they ain't seen nothing yet. This year, so many stuff been exposed, and I'm calling it out right now. Next year, it's going to be the same thing. Some more stuff finna come out the closet. Watch what I tell you. Everybody finna start showing their true colors. Watch what I tell you. Don't say I didn't warn you. So let so ladies and gentlemen, TGIF, thank God it's Friday. And if you getting rain or that hurricane, y'all please be safe out there. Be safe on the roads. God bless. I love you all. I will be praying for each and every last one of y'all. Y'all please be safe out there. Alright? Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, by the way, salute to all the new subscribers. I see y'all and I appreciate y'all. Old school subscribers, appreciate y'all as well. We going up and we ain't going to stop. So, yeah. God bless. Remember, I room for you all. And remember this. You are a king, you are a queen. Don't let these buffoons tell you otherwise. Alright? So that being said, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.